Good morning. So today I've got one tip to give you, and that is concerning the housing market. If you are in the market to buy a new home, and maybe prices have been too high for you, or rates are too high, you might look at potentially buying this coming winter season. And there are three reasons why I believe this coming winter season may be a good opportunity to buy. The first is interest rates, right? Interest rates are rising and there's indication that they're going to be held there at least for uh, a period of time. We don't necessarily know how long that is. Um, I'm of the personal belief that as soon as we have any kind of a serious financial issue in the economy, the Fed is going to pivot. Uh, they're not gonna keep tightening. But for the foreseeable future, the, the Fed has made it clear that they're going to keep rates um, where they are and, and continue raising them. So that's going to push long-term interest rates up too, which affects mortgage rates. And higher mortgage rates generally depress home prices. Now, it depends on what area you're in. Uh, if you're in an area that still has very strong demand for homes, if the wages and the job market supports it there, you might not see a decline in home prices as much, whereas you might see it more in areas where the job market isn't as strong. Uh, so a lot of that is dependent on where you're located. The second point that I want to make is that the winter season is, you know, seasonably, seasonably the time when you want to buy a house because there isn't as much demand. People aren't moving as much. Uh, generally, when you do job transitions, um, at least with the military and the government, it's done during the summertime. Uh, and frequently in corporate America, job changes are done during the warmer months. Uh, or at least the moves are done. And so with that in mind, the winter season is a time to buy, or at least a time to look, because there's going to be less demand. And as a result, prices will come down some. The second, or the third thing that I want to bring up is the job market. Now, the job market has been strong in some people's opinions. However, we have seen unemployment ticking up. We also have seen weaknesses in some of the manufacturing and manager ordering indexes, right? So that means that there are businesses that are shedding workers right now. And although there are many businesses that are hiring, unemployment in general is, is increasing. If costs of doing business continue to rise, if interest rates continue to stay where they are and go up, that is gonna put pressure on many businesses to expand and may have them need to curtail their workforces, which will have them lay off employees. Higher unemployment leads to people having to sell homes, uh, maybe unexpectedly. A lot of experts in real estate say, hey, you know, nobody's gonna sell their house because everybody has a low mortgage uh, or locked in in the low rate. Well, that isn't necessarily true. There may be people who are in situations uh, where they're forced to sell their home, maybe because they lost their job or they have to move. And if unemployment continues to rise, as I believe it will, that's gonna cause downward pressure on prices too. So we've got three, really three major variables here, interest rates, seasonal adjustment, and higher unemployment, all which are going to contribute to lower home prices, which will be a good opportunity for you. So I wanna leave you with the recommendation that if you're in the market for looking for a house, start looking now, even though prices may be too high, uh, look now and be patient. And I think in the winter season or this coming winter season, in a few months, you're going to see a, a better buying opportunity. Please post a question or a comment. Send me a private message if you want to talk about it privately. I always enjoy reading your comments. And until next time, I wish you unlimited success.